Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. A circle is the simplest of shapes that you can get. In fact, when a child learns to draw shapes, the first shape that he or she often draws is a circle. Yet there are many, many interesting geometry problems on circles, some of which are not only interesting, but also quite challenging. And this is a problem which I thought is interesting and maybe somewhat challenging that concerns two circles, each of radius r, which pass through each other's center. And we are asked to find the area, the region of intersection of those two circles. So how do we solve this problem? For one, we recognize that this area of overlap or the, the area of intersection, it's not really any standard, you know, circle or circle-like shape that we can relate to immediately, right? And by circle-like shape, I mean it's not really like a sector of a circle or a quadrant of a circle or a semicircle or something like that. So, so that's something to, to keep in mind. So let's start this problem as we often do problems like these where we're asked to find area of a shape that's not immediately recognizable as some kind of standard geometric shape we can work with. So the thing to do in such cases is try to see whether you can somehow express that area that we're given in terms of, you know, more standard geometric shapes. So in this particular problem, let's suppose that A and B are the two centers of the circles, and these are equal circles, meaning they're the same radius, right? And then let us suppose that C and D are the points where they intersect each other. Now, if I join these lines, these points rather, A, C, A, B, and then uh, B, C, A, D, and B, D, what we get are essentially two triangles, right? And these are special triangles. Why? Because each of those line segments that I've drawn is equal to one radius of the circle. So each of those are equal to R which makes both of these triangles equilateral, meaning they have equal sides. And on the other hand, so we have basically, if you want to, you know, cover this shape, this shaded shape, so we have these two triangles, right? But outside these two triangles, we have these four identical looking circular segments and from symmetry we can conclude that these two these four circular segments that we have and i have basically you know sh shaded one of those circular sh segments in green stripes so that uh, it's easier to recognize which segments i'm talking about so there are four of those all around the triangles and the two triangles and these four circular segments together make up the shaded area. So we can write this, the area of the shaded, uh, shaded region is basically areas of triangle ABC and triangle ABD, which are the two equilateral triangles, and four times the area of one of those uh, identical circular segments that I have. And I've assumed that A is the area of each of those four circ circular segments, right? So from here on, we can write the area, the shaded area is basically two times triangle ABC plus four times A, where A is the area of each of those four identical circular segments. And I can write two times triangle ABC here because the two triangles ABC and 
A, B, D, they are essentially congruent, right? Because all of their sides are equal. So their areas must be the same. So it's just simpler to write the shaded area as two times triangle ABC plus four times the area of the circular segment that I have indicated in green stripes. So what's the area of an equilateral triangle? Well, we know that it's root over 3 by 4 multiplied by side squared, multiplied by the square of its side, right? So here, the equilateral triangle ABC, each of its sides is R, so its area will be basically root over 3 by 4 multiplied by R squared. So now comes the question of what is the area of the sector that's cut out, the sector of the circle that's cut out by the radius AB and radius BC. So for that we need to find the sector angle which I have indicated in red and since the triangle is equilateral, so, so angle ABC will be equal to 60 degrees, which is the sector angle here, right? So what's the area of the sector of the circle that's cut out by radius AB and BC? So that will be basically 60 degree divided by 360 degree because the sector angle is 60 degree. So we are dividing that by 360 multiplied by whatever the area of the full circle is, which is simply pi r square. And that's a pretty standard way to evaluate, you know, the area of sector of a circle, when the, especially when the sector angle is known. You simply divide that sector angle by 360 degree if the sector angle is in degrees. If it's in radians, then you divide by 2 pi, right? And then that that is the fraction of the area of the entire circle. And in this case, that comes out as pi r squared by 6. So once we do that, we can write the area of that sector, the same sector, as the area of the striped circular segment, the one that I have indicated in green stripes, plus the area of triangle ABC. That's simply evident from the figure, from geometry, right? So if you just add up those two areas, the, the area of the circular segment in green stripes and the area of triangle ABC, which we already evaluated as root over 3 by 4 multiplied by R squared, we basically can equate this to the sector area. So we get pi r squared by 6 is equal to a plus root over 3 by 4 r squared. And a, just to remind you, is what I took the area of each of those four identical circular segments to be. So now we can solve for a from this and express a in terms of r squared. So we have a is equal to pi r squared by 6 minus root 3 by 4 multiplied by r squared. And once we do that, now we can go back to the, where we stated what the area, the shaded area, or the shaded region was, which is 2 times area of triangle ABC plus 4 times a. We have found out what a is in terms of r, right, or r squared. And we already know what area of triangle ABC is, which is root over 3 by 4 r squared. So now we can express the area of the shaded region as 2 multiplied by root over 3 by 4 r squared. So that's 2 times triangle ABC plus 4 multiplied by pi r squared minus 6 minus root over 3 by 4 r squared within parentheses, which is basically, you know, same as 4a. And we can basically do a little bit of simplification here, take out the parenthesis, uh, and uh, the final answer, the final form that we get is 2.5.
2 pi r square divided by 3 minus root over 3 by 2 multiplied by r square. So that's the area of the shaded region or the area of intersection of two identical circles passing through each other's center.